All right, I'm here with Missy Jen. We went ahead and we purchased the DJI, uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro recently. Edition, yeah. It was back yeah. ordered. We finally received it. It's the Obsidian Edition, and we've been videoing in 4K with uh, 60 frames, 60 frames per, second. per second, which is incredible resolution. We're over here at Coffee Park, which was one of Santa Rosa, California's huge burn areas where 1500 homes were destroyed on the 8th and 9th of October of this year. Missy Jen, we uh, purchased the uh, Obsidian Phantom 4 with the controller, with the separate, so you're yeah, not yes, using a cell phone. phone. Yes. Yeah, that's a whole integrated system, not the cell phone. Which and is really important to me yeah. because if you have a cell phone, the cell phone uses a charge and it drains the batteries of the unit and everything. Yeah. And this is, uh, what did you think about flying it? We've seen some of the footage, it it's renders incredibly strange. stable uh, it, it flies video. Like a charge. Yeah, and you, you did manual landing it now and a few I other. I did a manual, my first manual landing. It's good to fly, uh, and the screen is very interactive too. What can you say about all the messages that pop up? They tell you to uh, sync your system. They tell you that there's strong two-way communication in the area, so beware of flying, that there's a lot of radio communications. Obviously, we're in a big cleanup zone here, and there's a lot of people on uh, two-way radios communicating back and forth with uh, backhoe operators and uh, dump truck operators. But it's giving us a warning to beware, and it also tells you when you're reaching what altitude limits. It reaches and your maximum altitude depending on what program you use. So, and it also tells you when you reach a certain distance far out. Okay. Um, so it's, it's a very safe. Now we have lost communicate at one point today when we were doing a video what came up on the screen it uh, actually disconnect from the controller because we did lose signal we lost signal so I was wondering gee is the thing gonna crash down or does it just hover there till it reacquires my guess is that the phantom will actually just wait a certain period of time and if it can't reestablish so contact it fly a little just a little bit forward and then it reestablished contact or signal with the uh, yeah. Now maybe somebody else will tell me if you can establish signal, maybe it automatically returns to its point a of origin. amount of time, it will just yeah. uh, come home to its home yeah. position. So what I'm going to ask Jen do when we're evaluating this drone, we're going to sit this down and we're going to send this straight up now to the highest altitude over Coffee Park here. So we're going to set up right here and try to see how high we can go. We're not gonna be at doing any outward circling. We'll get a good wide view as we go up here. Okay, Jen, you ready to do a little flying? Yeah. All right, let's go set her up. So what do you think? So far, so good. Highly recommend, it's not cheap. It's a, the whole system's 2000. We got a 128 gig card in here in 10 minutes is using up about 10 gigs of it's about one gig per minute of storage so let's go set her up and let's get just one good vertical flight over here okay guys and we'll put this on the end of the video and we'll thank you for being along today okay i'll just sit this right here and i will press you press once and then you hold it down for two seconds let go and that gets it ready for flight and it goes through and it tests all the propellers and everything so what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down here and once again guys missy jen we got a great unit highly recommended dji phantom 4 the pro with the dedicated uh dedicated controller here okay all right